in previous video we have studied how to generate the global matrix now in this video we will substitute the local stiffness matrix into the global stiffness matrix and we will calculate the deformation stress strain of the system the learning outcomes at the end of this session the learner will able to solve uniaxial element problem analytically i will substitute the values of k1 k2 and k3 in the global stiffness matrix okay so i will formulate it here k equals to k1 value of k1 is uh, okay uh, 10 raised to 5 is common so i will write it 10 raised to 5 here okay so now just uh, add the uh, uh, stiffness element stiffness matrix of first element this to this okay so it will be 3 minus 3 minus 3 3 so now just look at here we'll add k2 okay so k2 uh, the value is plus 1 here then minus 1 minus 1 1 then i will add k3 okay so k3 plus 0.6 Minus zero point six, minus zero point six, and zero point six. Other elements are zero. Okay, so this is global stiffness matrix. Now the formula is to calculate the. We'll find the deformation at the four nodes. Okay, so the formula is a uh, vector matrix of the force that is F. equals to the global stiffness matrix that is k into the vector matrix of deformation that is u okay so for first node the deformation is u1 for second node it is u2 similarly u3 and u4 for third and fourth node respectively okay so we'll write the uh, we'll expand this uh, uh, matrix matrices here so it will be f1 F two, F three, and F four. F one, F two, F three, F four are nothing but the forces at first node, second node, third node, and fourth node. Okay, so equals to the global stiffness matrix is three minus three, zero zero, minus three four, and this will be minus one zero zero. Minus one, one point six, minus zero point six. Okay, so zero zero minus zero point six and zero point six into the deformation at first node that is u one, u two, u three, and u four. So now we will substitute the force values of forces and the deformation that we know. Okay, so as we you will see here, uh, we have constrained or fixed supported the uh, this uh, this end of the beam. So at this node, this node, the reaction will be zero, and all the uh, the reaction will be applied at this particular node. Okay, our key point. And the deformation at this node is zero. Okay, the load is fifty kilonewton, but the deformation is zero here. So we will just substitute the values here. So this will be fifty kilonewton. So I will write only fifty zero zero, and the force at fourth node is also fifty into ten to to three equals to. Oh, we have forgot the ten to to five here of stiffness matrix ten to to five. So we will write it again. Three minus three zero zero minus three four minus one zero zero minus one point six into now the reaction uh, or deformation. Sorry, the deformation at first node is zero, and we'll calculate it for u two. U three and U four. Just formulate the uh, equations now. 
just multiplied by uh, the matrix multiplication we need to know here so we will calculate uh, we will form the simultaneous equations just multiplied by multiplied this matrix by this matrix okay so we will calculate here uh, this will be 0 and then minus 3 u2 equals to or into 10 to 5 remaining as usual if I, if I forgot here equ equals to uh, the 15 to 10 to 3 this will be first equation over then uh, for uh, the, the second equation will be uh, this 0 4 into u3 u2 minus u3 into 10 to 5 equals to 0 this will be second equation then 0 then u2 minus u2 here then plus 1.6 u3 minus 0.6 u4 equals to 0 this will be equation third and the fourth equation is minus 0.6 u3 plus 0.6 u4 equals to 50 this will be equation 4 now uh, we can solve the simultaneous equation on the calculator and we will get the values here uh, obviously the u1 is 0 you will get u2 equals to 0 0.16 mm u3 equals to 0 0.66 mm and u4 equals to 1.5 mm you can now calculate the strain here the formula for uh, this is deformation now the strain the formula is change in length upon original length so u2 minus u1 upon l1 for first element so it will be uh, uh, 0 0.16 minus 0 upon l1 it is uh, uh, l1 is 200 mm so it will be 8 into 10 raised to minus 4 similarly for second element it will be 250 okay sorry uh, the strain it is uh, we will write good formula here u3 minus u2 upon l2 so after substituting you will get the value 1.25 into 10 to minus 4 and for third element it will be 2.8 into 10 to minus 4 okay and then from the strain and deformation we, we, we can calculate the uh, stress developed so stress will be sigma 1 equals to Young's modulus into strain so that will be 2 into 10 raised to 5 into 8 into 10 raised to minus 4 so it will be 167 newton per mm square for sigma 2 uh, it will be 250 newton per mm square and for sigma 3 for the third element it will be 555.53 newton per mm square okay so in next video we will solve the similar problem in apdel and workbench so these are the references thank you